What happens when you have zero as an exponent or when you have a negative exponent? Any value to the zero power is always one. That is a rule for you to remember. Exponents of zero equals one. Take a minute to write that down in your notebook. So let's say you have a situation like this one. x to the fifth divided by x to the fifth. We know that we're going to subtract these because our bases are the same. So we have x to the fifth minus 5 equals x to the 0 power, which equals 1. If you have x to the sixth divided by x to the sixth, you're going to have the same thing. 6 minus 6, which is x to the 0 power, which equals 1. You could also have negative exponents. When you have a base with a negative exponent, as in this situation, it is the same as 1 over x with that exponent. Let's take a look at when you can have a situation like this with a negative exponent. Here we have x to the third divided by x to the fifth. Now you know, based on rules already, that when you're dividing and the bases are the same, you subtract the exponents. In this case, we have x to the third minus 5, and 3 minus 5 gives me x to the negative 2. Now, think about the rule that we just looked at on the other page. Here it is again. We have a value with a negative exponent. It's the same as 1 over that. So let's go back again. We just had x to the negative 2, and we can write that as 1 over x squared. This is the simplified form of this expression. Here we have b to the third divided by b to the ninth. So we can say that this is b 3 minus 9, which is b to the negative 6. Can't leave it like this, though. So I rewrite it as 1 over b to the sixth. We can call this the negative power rule for exponents. Take a minute again to write this down in your notebook. Rewrite this expression without negative exponents. To do this, we're going to remember our rule, and we're going to work with each base separately. Let's start with the x. x to the negative fourth becomes 1 over x to the fourth times y to the negative sixth, which becomes 1 over y to the sixth, and we can rewrite that as 1 over x to the fourth, y to the sixth. Now we took the time to do this step, but if you know how to go right to this step, you can do that. Here's one more. Rewrite this without negative exponents. We can put both of them over 1, and we have x squared, y to the fifth. And our work is complete.